What's up, Hedgehog Maniacs and Doki Fanatics? Sonic 17 here. Back with more Doki Doki Storm. Which, of course, is a mod for Doki Doki Literature Club. The last time we saw me play, Yuri went to school for another night with her. And hopes of getting MC to read with her after buying a new copy of Portugal Markov. But things didn't go as planned for Yuri, as she was seething with rage when she saw MC read with Natsuki instead. You guys know how I am when it comes to Natsuki, so... Like I said, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. A part of me wants to finish this mod, but a part of me does not want to because of how Natsuki was treated in Act 2. I think I said this in a couple of recordings ago, but I have to press forward to see how this plays out. Anyway, it's time to dive in, and let's do it to it. Showtime. Also, I hope you guys can hear me again, like before. Anyway. But I'm quite completely off guard when I see Sonic X approaching me. I put all my energy into re rearranging my features to not betray the anger I was just feeling. But he ignores me. He pulls out a page of his notebook and walks back to Natsuki again. Concentrations I feel overwhelm overwhelms my senses. He should be sharing with me first. That's how it was in Act One, but sometimes things don't things don't always go the same way, Yuri. <laughs> well, I guess we should. I guess we should really talk first. Then. How dare she? Uh, that's more like it. Let's see. But seriously, I don't suppose you might look over my poem. I try to occupy myself reading the poem entitled Holland Wall. The haziness in my mind makes it difficult to concentrate, but it seems to be about being trapped in a place dev devoid of meaning, with hints of suffering, but a de determination to overcome. Why is it poem following up with her rudeness? I can, I can see from her that Natsuki is being very standoffish, almost actively pushing him away. Uh, Yuri? Be careful there! You're coping with my fault! Sorry! I take some deep breaths and do my best to focus on what's in front of me. Is this related to the disappointment you mentioned earlier? You can't say that. I know what I need to do, but I'm not sure how to get there, you know? By the way, I think I might as well have some fun. I don't understand. I know. That's international. It's nothing for you to worry about, Yuri. It's something that I have to deal with on my own. You look like you have a plenty to worry about anyway. She has a point. Sonic is far more important to me than whatever Monica is dealing with. I should just put it from my mind. Did you remember the right poem last night? Ah, uh, yes. I'll get it. I retrieved my poem from my bag and handed it to her. As Monica is reading, I resume looking at Natsuki and Sonic I want to wipe that smug off of Natsuki's face. This is kind of one of the reasons why. I have, like I said, I have favoritism when it comes to Natsuki. You better calm down, Yuri. I want to grab her by the door and choke her the life out of her. You do that and I'll come straight in there, Yuri. Though she's so small, she'll probably snap like a twig. Remember what I said about 15 seconds ago? 
Maybe less? Maybe the same amount of time now? Well, this looks familiar. I guess this is the part where I tell you to be more daring next time. More daring? Somewhere in the haze of my thoughts, I suddenly realized that Monica has given me good advice. I'm being far too passive. It's time that I take matters into my own hands. I can't wait for Sadiq to come to me. I'll have to force him to be with me. I think he will learn to love me. Yes, yes, I'll be more daring. That's what I'll do. Thank you, Monica. You're very helpful. Uh, you're welcome? Well, I feel you're about to become more entertaining than ever. Let's see how, it, let's see how this goes. Natsuki's moving away from Sign X. Now's my chance. I rush over to him, trying to hide my eagerness as I take his poem from him. I want to see the beauty his mind can create. But this poem It's so simple and cute. So MC wrote for Natsuki at the start, huh? Hmm. This seems this is gonna be interesting. <sighs> this looks more like something Natsuki would come up with. What's going on? Has she been influ influencing him already? I think I hate her now ever more ever more now. This is all wrong. I can't let him become like Natsuki. He belongs to me. What am I going to do? Um Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. There has to be an explanation for this. Maybe this is part of my hero's journey. Yes, that has to be it. I start feeling more like I'm excited the more I think about it. I have to pull, pull him away from the forces of darkness and the evil Natsuki. Hey, don't call my favorite Doki evil. The club president is the one that's truly evil right now. Even though she didn't mean all those things. Spoiler alert. She was doing it close to MC. Particularly to the real world. And sorry for my outburst earlier. You guys know how I am when it comes to Natsuki. So, the first step should be, to, should be to get him to improve his writing, and help him to be all that I know he can be. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Eh, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be, be have to redo it. Might be have to redo it. Uh, so it's that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. I put my face in my hands. I didn't mean to imply that he was bad. I have to stop messing things up. I have to focus. I have to sound encouraging. I have to sound professional. I have to sound impressive. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? I have to stop getting lost in my thoughts while he's talking to me. Right. Um, I don't think I could just say, don't be cute. I'll have to make my advice more generic. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate a writer's style separate from the topic matter, and they forfeit the two together. The, the end result is, is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Of course, that's not something that you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope I can 
that everyone else in, this, in the club gives you valuable feedback. That's gonna be, can be a bit, a little bit biased though. It's stuff of a little brat. Baby Doki Yuri, need to keep quiet about that. It might be your Act 2 persona kicking in. But don't be, don't forget what I said earlier. Bias. How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. I watch and read my poem. My heart pounding the whole time. I hope he likes it. I'm realizing more and more that this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. I'm going to have to win him over. He's taking his time reading it. He's... He's not looking very excited about it. He looks indifferent at best. Uh, I'm sorry if I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it, but it took you a long time to read. Uh... Well... I just don't read script, script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's... a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. The sensation of my heart pounding is making it hard to focus. But I need... But I know I need to keep trying to impress him. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Why didn't I write a love poem for him? I'm causing myself for not think of it sooner. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh, actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Sidex. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being similar, symbolically, symbiotically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place in comfort, unable to let go of the past, and still be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. If he keeps complimenting me like that, I don't think I'll be able to contain myself. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I have to keep trying it. I'm counting on you. With that, Sonyx goes to show his poem to Monica. I guess that means... Uh, I should go for share with Natsuki now. Well, maybe I can use this as an opportunity to learn more about my nemesis. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. I go over to where she's sitting and it takes the seat next to hers. Let's get this over with. Fire with me! She gingerly takes my poem from me as if afraid to touch it, and I do the same with hers. I look over a poem entitled, Eagles Can Fly. A serious smile creeps over my face. It's a lack of simple poem about a bunch of cute animals. And the last line sounds ridiculous. People can try, but that's about it. What kind of way is turning the poem is that? It's as if she could think of a way to finish it, and she just drew some nonsense at, at, on the end. What's with this language? Eh? Uh, um, did you say something? No, oh, it's nothing! She dismissively returns the poem by to my desk. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. 
higher praise than I expected from her. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you complain about the service of a something? It's clear about the fear of giving up. How could that be cute? Is she really going to pretend that there was some deeper meaning behind it? I know that. Just, I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Yeah. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks. I mean, it didn't come out nice at all. There's a reason for that. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Sidex did too. I twitched in anger at the mention of Sidex's name. So based on that, I'm glad I'll give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. Enough of her talking as though she could have something worthwhile to say. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I can come across a, something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Yeah! And Sunday it's like my Paul too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. I summed up as much pride as I can with that statement. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Just so you know, this is actually a repeat of the argument in Act 1. But things are gonna go haywire this time. She looks like she's trying to over to towel over me. It just makes her look even more ridiculous. Again, that's my favorite Doki Yuri. Ow! I didn't realize she was so offensive to try to press her new memory, Yuri. Poor Mark is a, is a painful reminder that he wanted to spend time with her more than me. Ugh. That's not what I... Ugh. You're just... I try to channel my jealous, my jealous feelings into my rage at her as I stand up to tell over her. Maybe you're just jealous that Sidex appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Deep down, I know that this is just a meaningless display of bravado, but I can't let that show... I can't let that show now. My advice more! Are you that boy yourself? I hesitate. Some part of me has to acknowledge that, that there's a good chance he actually does like her writing more. I. No! If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy! Ah! She really hates being called cute! You think? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who exposed Patrick to a size big on suicide next time showing up! I'm not saying that word. Natsuki, how dare you! She just brought up my worst feature. I'll make her suffer for that. Natsuki! This doesn't involve you! This doesn't involve you! Taking out your own insecurities on us like that? You may act as young as you look, Natsuki! Me? Look who's talking! You are the edgy idiot! Edgy? Is that one again? It's time to put this child in place! Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate real school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality? Just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try! Wow! Be careful!
for you by cutting yourself on that. Eh, hey, Cherry. Oh, my bad. You may know me. You may know me too, don't ya? She knows. She knows. Oh, she's smiling again. Blushing again. And you know, Monica has not even changed her expression after all this time. I know what she's trying to do. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the hell is wrong with your head? What the hell is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let's not just hear anything you really think. I'm sure you'll be head head over heels for you after this. Oh boy. MC has... I suddenly noticed that he's watching our argument with a look at his concern. Ah! Uh, Sonny X! She's... She's just trying to make me look bad! That's not true! She started it! I wish you'd just shut up! Right now, if I was in there, Yuri, I think you need to be the one that is, has to shut up. <sighs> Baby does some kicking in again. Where did he go? Monka disappeared as well. Uh. Oh boy. I think it's getting red. And I see the black on the side. You did this! You did this! Huh? He's supposed to be mine and you ruined it! You think you can take him away just because you're more beautiful than me? What? He's screaming. My knife is in my hand. I don't remember pulling it out. I'll kill you! It hurts! I can't breathe! Where am I? Why am I lying on the floor? I'm in the club room? What happened? Everything seems to be moving in slow motion! I can't breathe! With great effort, I take an agonized breath. The pain of it brings back some of my ability to focus. I see something purple on the floor, at the edge of my vision. I instinctively reach out and feel the familiar grip of Thor's handle. There's blood on its blade. Why does it hurt so much to breathe? My lungs and them and abdominal feel like they're on fire. Did I stab myself? I don't see any signs of a wound. Everything is still moving slowly, but it feels like it's gradually coming back to normal, normal speed as I struggle to pull myself up to my hands and knees. How long have I been lying here? Has it been hours or just minutes? Or seconds? I hear the sound of the club room's door slam, followed by running footsteps in the distance. Everything hurts so much. I barely have the strength to pull myself up into a chair. I seem to be the only one in the room. I sit, double over. It hurts too much to straighten up. But with the pain comes some clarity. Did I? Did I kill Natsuki? No, uh, I don't know, but I, I think <laughs> my mind is... I don't even know. I'm trying to comprehend this. Panic overtakes me. What did I do? Why did I do it? What happened to me? I didn't mean it. I would never do such a thing. But I did. I carried out an act of violence against another human being. I actually used one of my knives to attack someone. 
I was angry at Natsuki, of course, but why do I go against values? I carried for my entire lifetime. I didn't mean it. It's like a total change suddenly came over my personality. I even swore. I used the F word. I didn't even mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri? Sonny X! I didn't mean it! I believe you! Sonny X! Please don't hate me! Please! I'm not like this! There's something wrong with me today! It's fine, Yuri! Monica's here too? We know you didn't mean it! Besides, I'm sure those people forget all about it by tomorrow! Completely! Natsuki? Natsuki? She's, she's alive? But then what happened? Where is she? Why would she forget about what I just did? Monica's tampering is what is going on. I have so many questions I don't know how to even begin asking. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home there if you want. I start to stand, but realize that I still have Thor in my lap. I stay hunched over, hoping that Monica and Sonyx didn't notice. I still need to talk to Sonyx. I have to see if there's some way to, to salvage our relationship. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little, long, a little bit longer. Well, I'm the president, so it should be the last one now. I'll wait for you, but I'll wait for you to be done. She's looking at me exponentially. Is this still, is this still part of some scheme to steal Sonny X away from me? Well, I'm Vice President, so please let me take this responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you didn't want me to be around for something, Yuri. She's sounding suspicious. What do I do? It's not that. It's not that. I just... I just didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Sonny X. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I'm sure I sound rather feeble right now. There's no way this will convince her. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Or could I be wrong? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for causing trouble. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate you understanding. Hey, I'm home. How'd I get here? Monica, that's what's that's what happened. I'm sitting on my bed with Dort still on my lap at, at the exact same position I was in when I was in the club room. It's as if I was somehow magically transported here. But that's impossible, right? Could it be that my memory is failing again? I just don't remember walking home? But that raises even more questions. Did I get to talk to Sonyx? What did he say? I wish I could remember. Why can't I remember? How did I even leave the room without anyone noticing the blood on my uniform? For that matter, how did I get home at all? I'm still in a lot of pain. I struggle with my feet. I need to expect myself to find out how bad my injury is. I slowly staggered to the bathroom, holding the door in one hand and clutching my abdomen with my other. Take off my uniform so I can see myself better. That bruise. It wasn't there this morning, right? I guess that's the source of the pain that I'm feeling. I close my eyes, trying to remember what happened. Bits and pieces are coming back to me. Natsuki. I knocked her to the floor. I was trying to stab her. But... She fought back. Look at my right wrist. There are bruises there too. I 
guessed it was too much adrenaline in my system for me to notice the pain earlier. But now that I look closer, I see there are finger marks. She grabbed my wrist. She was trying to stop me from using the door on her. I didn't expect someone so small to be that strong. That's what you get for underestimating Natsuki, Yuri. And she kicked me. She kicked me hard in the stomach. It's the last thing I remember. But then, where did the blood come from? I look over my body, trying to find any new cuts. The only ones I can find are the ones from my arms that I already knew about, knew about from today. The pile of blood on the blade suggests that it was pushed straight in. I'm straight to, straight to remember the details of those few seconds we were fighting. But it was so chaotic, I'm just not sure. But I think I pushed the knife into something. So that means... You did it! Is this Natsuki's blood? At the time, I was too frustrated about being unable to cut her throat to pay attention to where the knife was going. <sighs> Apparently, there was a she was able to run out of the room afterward, so I couldn't have hit anything vital. I held the blade up to in front of my face. I've never seen someone else's blood up close before. There's something urgent about it. Something mesmerizing. Something intoxicating. Before I know it, I put I put the blade between my lips. Oh, okay. You're scaring me more than usual now, Yuri. Especially with Natsuki's blood. I run my tongue over it, tasted Natsuki's blood, let it swish around in my mouth. Savoring the flavor. Mmm. Is it my imagination, or does it taste sweeter than mine? With the slightest motion, I cut into my tongue. I allow the blood to mix with Natsuki's. It, all, it brings all kinds of strange thoughts and images into my mind. It makes me feel powerful. As I swallow blood, it makes me feel... A rose! Wait, what? Where's that feeling coming from? I'm disgusted by the realization that I experience sexual thoughts about Natsuki. She's my enemy. How can I allow myself to feel such a thing? But now that I think of it, she and I marked each other today. She gave me bruises and I cut into her. Is it by far the most intimacy I've ever experienced with another human being? No, no, no! This is all wrong! I can't have an experience like this with Natsuki before I have, before I have it with Sadie X. If Sadie X is my destiny, this shouldn't be possible. Should it? What if I, what if I somehow rush in, what if I somehow ruin my destiny? I feel myself sinking into despair. What if this means I'm going to be alone forever now? No, no, no! No! I can't let that happen! It's Natsuki's fault anyway. She's the one doing this. It's not Natsuki's fault, Yuri. You need to back off on her. I think I hate her more than ever now. Lighten up. She's like the villain out of one of my fantasy novels. She's some kind of evil seductress, trying to lure me and Sadie X away from each other. I never knew someone could be a so sinister in real life. It's other nonsense that I could like her anyway. I've always hated her. I... I have always hated her. Right? It's Monica's tamper that's causing you to hate Natsuki. But like I said, I have favoritism. Doubt creeps over my creep. Doubt creeps over me as as distant, forgotten memories come turning, turning to the surface to my of my mind. I remember from weeks past 
I wanted to get to know her better. Wish I had the courage to talk to her. But why? Why would I want that? She's boring and simple and worthless. She's not worthless. It's definitely not worth any consideration. She, she must have been weaving her spell for, I mean, for some time. Could she have been playing for Sidex's arrival all along, just so she could split us up? How insidious! Well, I won't let her. Su I won't let her succeed. And this just means I, I'm going to have to fight hard for him. I washed Natsuki's disgusting blood off the blade in the sink. I pick up my uniform and go back to my room. I feel terribly guilty that I almost let Natsuki affect me. I have to do something dr something dramatic to show that I'm devoted to Sign X. But what? Doris gave me an idea. I take a seat on my bed and wipe his blade with alcohol. I inspect my body, look for a good spot. Hmm. Actually, in light of what happened, my right forearm will be perfect. It's about time we got some attention anyway. There are so few cuts there. This is going to be tricky. Do it left-handed, but I'll do my best. I brace my right forearm against my thighs to hold it steady. I bring the blade in contact with the bruise on my wrist. I'll write it over. Uh, S. I've only really one letter, but I'm already, I'm already panting from the pain. Or maybe it's the anticipation. Oh, that's two letters. I don't know if I can make it, but I remind myself that love is supposed to hurt. And this is starting to feel daunting. Why does his name have to be so long? I should think like that, though. He's perfect the way he is. I. That's four letters. I'm more than halfway there. Uh. Oh uh, yeah, you are. I almost feel like I should take a break, but I want to keep up my momentum. You know, I'm starting to wonder something. The Pentagon, what you name MC for this mod and everything. Does Yuri do more harm to herself the more letters you have in the name? And she does less harm to, you, to herself if you have less? I am curious about that, I, actually. See, a whipper escapes me from the pain, but I'm almost done. I just need to push through. D, I feel like I'm going to pass out. I just keep trying to focus on how glorious it will look. X. When I finish, it's too bright to see clearly. I look up the access blood so I can read it better. Sunny X. It still looks messy. I think I'm going to have to wait until scores over before I'm ready to show it to him. Still, we have the rest of our lives ahead to appreciate, so it's fine. I can wait. The important thing is that this proves that I'm his and he's mine. Whatever, whatever happens between me and Natsuki was just a one-off. What? Whatever happened between me and Natsuki was just a one-off. It doesn't count. I just have to talk to Sanyi X. And convince him of that. To let him know that Natsuki means nothing to me, and I mean nothing to her. The more I think about it, the more I want to see him and, he, and hear his voice again. Just looking at Sidex's name engraved on, on my arm is making me ache for him all over again. I need something to calm myself. Some tea would be really good right now. I carefully bandage up my arm and put on my pajamas. My parents are home already. Which makes me wonder again, how much time has passed since the club session? They don't look at me as I enter the room. My mom is sitting at the kitchen table, reading a book. My dad's behind the counter. He looks like he's preparing himself a snack. He's blocking away to the kettle. I can still wait for him to, to finish, but I'm too impatient for that right now. Move, Dad! He glances at me with a look of surprise that turns into a look of interrogation. Or maybe it's just a look of heart. In any case, he says nothing and steps aside. I'm vaguely aware of the two of them looking around, perturbed, 
staring at me, but I don't care right now. I'm too preoccupied with darts with of Sad Yex. While I'm waiting for the war to boil, I grip my right forearm, fearing the sting of my his name. Sad Yex! Sad Yex! Sad Yex! I'm fairly aware of my parents talking. I don't know if they're talking to me or each other. It seems I'm important right now. Maybe, maybe what happened between me and Natsuki today really doesn't count. Maybe, since I haven't declared my feelings for Sadie X yet, it's okay for me to cut other people. Yeah, that's it. These are my last... These... What are you... What are your thoughts right now, Yuri? What do you have in mind? These are my last days as an eligible bachelorette before I devote myself to Sadie X forever. I should get the chance to celebrate my last few days as a free woman. Sadie X wouldn't mind if I cut around a bit before I finally settle down with him, right? He's my future betrothal. He was you would have to understand. There's a whole world of experiences out there for me to sample, and the world is a big place. I continue pondering this as I prepare my tea and bring it back upstairs. Enter my room, I almost trip over my uniform on the floor. I should wash the blood off of it. It would be a relief to get the last traces of Natsuki's Natsuki off of myself. As I put it in the washing machine, my hand goes to the pocket. And I find a pen. That's right. I put a pen in, in where I was going to where I was going to his bag. Sonic's pen! My breathing becomes more rapid as fresh excitement courses through my veins. I hold the pen in front of myself. I'm able to take my eyes off of it as I return to my room. I hold the pen on my bedside light so I can see it better. I can see his fingerprints on it. Proof that his skin oils are all over it. I know just what I want to do with it. Still sitting on the edge of my bed, I pull down my pajama bottoms. My breathing becomes more rapid in preparation for what I'm about to experience. Uh. She stabs herself with the pen. I punch the pen into my left thigh as hard as I can. Yes, yes, his fluids are entering my bloodstream. And I want more. I stab into my thigh again and again. I feel so giddy. I can't help giggling at the sight of the three little rivers of blood pouring out of me. I eagerly take it all, take it, take it all, the exquisite sensations his pen is bringing me. Not to mention the smell of fresh blood. And tea? I look over my desk and see the cup of tea I poured for myself. I forgot all about it. I almost fall over when I stand to retrieve it. My left leg doesn't quite move it the way I intend to. I probably damaged my quadricep muscles when I pushed the pen in. You think? I sit at my desk until I assess it. It would have gone into the rectus femoris muscle, maybe even deep enough for bastards into menace. I didn't really intend to push it in that deep, but then again, love is supposed to hurt. I've said it once, I've said it many times, and I'll say it again. Love works in mysterious ways, and this is one of those cases. I smile at the thought of what I'm willing to endure for my love, for my love of Sunny X. I look at the pen again, with its mixture of our fluids on it. I wonder how it writes. I idly clean the pen by stirring my tea with it as I open my notebook to a new page. And I write, and I write, and I write, and I write. Just enjoy the feeling of holding Sadex's pen in my hand. In time, I've lost count of how many pages I've filled. Eventually, I become aware that I'm feeling dusty and I have long ago finished my tea. It's dark out now. I should probably go to bed. I feel better though. This was actually this was exactly the kind of relaxing activity I needed. As I stand, I almost strip over my pajama bottoms that were around my ankles. I'm getting so clumsy lately. I'm glad no one was here to see that. 
That would be quite embarrassing. I should probably clean up dry blood coverings of what I should probably clean up the dry blood covers of my thigh too. I'm getting so forgetful lately. It's vaguely troubling, but I try to put it for my mind. I just keep reminding myself that I'm heading towards a better future. A future with Side X. But beyond that, I remind myself of my of my newfound realization that I can be free to enjoy myself along the way. As I'm getting ready for bed, I dream and look forward to everything I want to do tomorrow. I'm gonna have to stop here, Hedgehog Max. <sighs> I don't even know what the hell. I don't even know. That explains what has been going on. I, I don't know. I am still trying to wrap my brain around that whole experience. <sighs> if this is how day two was in act two, I could just imagine seeing this, seeing day three from Yuri's perspective during act two is going to go down. <sighs> Like I said, since this is Act 2, all hell is going to break loose. But for right now, Sign X17 signing out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Stop bad mouthing Natsuki Yuri. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think down below. And if you want to see more of my content, Subscribe to me so you check out the rest of my content and you also check out the videos you see here on the screen. I told you to stop doing that, Monica!